I rewatched some of my vlogs and I'm realizing I'm forgetting to introduce myself. So hi, I'm Kelsey. Thanks for being here. I'm an independent artist based in the Bay Area of California and I have several streams of income including commission work, freelance work, but my main source of income is from the products that I create based on my art and then I sell that. And I typically do that in pop-up events or in online stores, but I've recently had the opportunity to display my art at a physical store in Stockton. If you watched my A Week in My Life vlog, then you'll know that I can be found at Maker's Maid in Stockton. And I'm super excited. Since this is my first consignment opportunity and the first place where you'll be able to find my art in a physical store year round, instead of just a pop-up event, I wanted to make sure to document the whole journey. By this point, I have just signed papers that's about it. So we got a lot left to do still. In addition to the consignment opportunity, I do have some really exciting news that I want to share with you guys, especially those of you in the East Coast. So make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out what that surprise is. Otherwise, let's move on to consignment stuff, whatever that is. Oh, ah. unboxing. I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon. Can't see them. You, you can still barely see it, but <laughs> I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon. Plus this box, that's a special thing. For um, my consignment opportunity, I need to get some display stuff and I bought it on Amazon. So I already said that. Plus a special box. This is from a friend, Ollie Bits. Um, I just randomly posted to my Instagram story that I love unicornos and she got me a whole freaking box <laughs> Like this is one of those six packs of these boxes. Oh my gosh. I freaking love you Ollie I bought her like one piece blind like two one piece blind bags And this is how she returns the favor and you know what she said in our DMs when we were talking she says got him <laughs> That's just the kind of person Ollie is so I thought we could save this for a special unboxing because I mean who doesn't love watching blind box unboxings, so. But work first, right? Um, I'm also gonna apologize for my appearance. Um, I mean, if you think I always do my makeup and look pretty when I'm working from home, you're sorely mistaken. This is what I look like most of the time. I just, for that week in my life vlog, I just wanted to look pretty and I was going out most days anyway, but most of the time, this is what you get. Okay, let's unbox. So we'll start with this guy since it's already opened. I. Needed to get in here to make my um, my matcha because I ordered something on Amazon. Thank you, Drawn by Ivy, for the matcha recommendation. It's freaking good. So this one of this is Cody's stuff. I don't know what this is. I am not a <laughs> I'm not a DIY girly. I don't know any of that kind of stuff. Okay. So first off, we've got this is my business card holder. I'm gonna open this up. My business cards. I'll include a picture of it somewhere here. My business cards are vertical as opposed to horizontal, like your standard one. Um, so, which I kind of wish I knew before I started designing them because horizontal business card holders are cheaper. It's so hard to find like vertical ones affordably, but just for my art style and how I want my business cards to look, vertical just works better. So um, I already have one of these, but I bought one of these for the consignment store. Nice standard, really thick acrylic. And these are just, Nice to have. So that's the first thing that I got. I think this is mine. Wooden, premium wooden holder. Let's, let's see what this is. <laughs> I looked it up on my Amazon orders. I think this is my um, postcard shelf. That's such like a generic name, but like, you know, it's got these guys. I'm also realizing this unboxing is not super exciting because I still have to assemble most of this. So I'll include clips of it assembled because <laughs> I do have to do like a demo of my um, my setup. I have to practice it anyway. So I'll include that too. But I think this is my postcard holder. I'm going to set that to the side. Um, this one comes with a picture, which again, I'm not going to unbox because that's stupid. But um, display stand. This is a sticker holder. 16 pockets you can see here. I've always wanted a shelf like this. I've seen these at a lot of events. I think it's really cool that like the stickers will stay organized in their little pockets. The only thing is a shelf like this takes up such a huge footprint for how few stickers it actually displays when it comes to an event, right? So like if I have a six foot table, this is a lot of space for such a, so, for so few stickers being displayed, which is why that I prefer my, um, my DIY pockets that I've done before 
but at a consignment store where I'm given a certain amount of space and I'm actually trying to take up a larger footprint, I think something like this is gonna work really well. So I'll put that together. And then we have one more box before the unicornos. <laughs> I think this is my pegboard. I bought a pegboard because I know I've mentioned I'm discontinuing keychains and pins, but I figured, oh yay, I love when they put a box in just another box. I don't understand. I'm discontinuing pins and keychains, but um, this consignment store opportunity is a perfect chance for me to get rid of them that way. So I bought a pegboard for it. It's like a cute wooden one too. This is exciting. And this whole set, all of these I found on Amazon, which is wild because I feel like up until this point, all the display stuff we found on Amazon was very um, makeshift, right? So I feel like a lot of artists use things that are meant for something else for our art. But Amazon has started catching on and I'm starting to see a lot of actual like art display stuff like postcard holders, which I never found like in the past years. Um, I've literally never seen something like this on Amazon before. So I think like Amazon is starting to catch on to us <laughs> and they're starting to cater to us, which is really cool. Yeah, this is a pegboard display. Oh, this is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. This is great. And it even came with the hooks and everything like, and this was, I think this was $30. Like that's amazing for this. And if you really wanted to get cute, you could like paint this and stuff. I don't know if I will. I think I might keep it all the wood. Um, but yeah, this is so exciting. I definitely need to work on my consignment display, but I do still have another event this weekend. Um, you can see the, the remnants of Kauai Fest back here, which by the way was fantastic. Kauai Fest is always a great event for me. I still have carrier con to prepare for this weekend and it's gonna be a lot of work because I'm I only have six feet and I'm not bringing a backdrop so like I have to fit everything on my table luckily there's no vertical limit so I'm gonna go like <laughs> I'm gonna be like a 10 foot display it's gonna be wild I still need to prep for that but I also need to get started on my consignment stuff I signed the contract a week ago and then I haven't done anything since so I need to list inventory I need to prep the display I need to go in person and drop it off I gotta contact Rochelle about that but um, in addition to that, I've still got the normal stuff I need to do during the week, which is like, oh F, I just realized I need to do Etsy orders. <laughs> ah, and then I haven't drawn in a while and I was supposed to post something today because it's Monday. So I tried to do a static post on Mondays, but um, I worked straight from Monday through Sunday last week with a cold. And I am just like, I'm not, I slept till one o'clock today. like. <laughs> That tells you how freaking tired I am. I just like, I'm trying to take it easy. I'm a little winded right now, to be honest. I'm still just a tiny bit sick. I'm just getting over it. Okay, let's move on to the really fun stuff now. <laughs> ah, I cannot believe, like I was literally in disbelief when I got this box in my mailbox. Okay, so let's talk about the op. Well, first off, let's talk the theme. This is a sushi unicorno theme. I am obsessed with unicornos. I know I draw like, sexy and edgy art but like there's a part of me that loves adorable things too like <laughs> and i have a couple unicornos but this series is brand new so i don't have anything from here um but this is like sushi theme and this is all the different options this one's really fun because they come with a platform and a little buddy and honestly i love all of these um i've never gotten a chaser so it'd be really cool to get a chaser but i think my absolute favorite is probably taco I think that's really cute. So let's unbox these. I thought, you know, just when you think it can't get any cuter, look at this. Each individual box is a Maki rule. Oh my gosh. I love Tokidoki. It's inspired by a lot of Asian Japanese culture. So, okay, let's just start with the bottom. Oh my gosh. I feel like that girl making an unboxing video. Ew. <sighs> Oh yeah, and then each box comes with a sticker! I'm gonna have six of these. I'm gonna have six of these stickers. <laughs> this is the big one. Let's start with the big one. Okay, so we got Ebby first. She's so cute! So this is why they do the hand thing. Okay. Her buddy. Gosh, this cute little cat. And then the platform. I love the platforms, like this little bamboo platform that they stand on. 
I'm like shaking. I'm so tired. And then like that. Well, you know, you get the idea. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Cute. Next one. Oh, that wasn't Ebby. This is, um, this is Salmon. I got it wrong. I didn't even notice she doesn't have a tail. I'm a, I'm bad at my sushi. Dang it. This one is, okay, I want to say, yeah, this one is Ebby. Oh my gosh, how cute. Look at her tail. That's freaking cute. Okay, let's check out her buddy. Plate of wasabi. <laughs> that's not like the cutest buddy, but that's going to look cute like all together. I love focus. Oh, there's the face. It is a little buddy. How cute. <laughs> Ooh, look how like silvery that is. That's so pretty. And the wasabi, <laughs> a little shoyu buddy. Ooh, yes. Wow, that's so cute. Cat, this one's white. I'm gonna die. See, woo! This is <gasps> no. This isn't the chaser, is it? <gasps> I got the freaking chaser! Oh my god! Spicy mayo. That's what this looks. <gasps> You're the best. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Ah! I really wanted taco teacup. I'm so happy. Uh, <laughs> beautiful! I can't believe this is like the greatest pull of my life. Ollie, you're amazing. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm so lightheaded from that. It was too much laughing and like <laughs> talking. <laughs> and now I have all of this mess to clean up. <laughs> and I'm so tired. I want to go back to sleep. Oh my gosh! I'm just realizing this came with two. <laughs> I didn't realize I bought a, a set of two. I thought it was only one. Two of these plus hooks for 30 bucks. That's a really good deal. But now, I don't know. Maybe I'll use it. We'll see. So here's what they all look like set up. Um, these were all really, for the most part, easy to assemble. This was obviously the easiest. It's only like three pieces plus the hooks. So that's going to be holding my pins and my keychains. This one was the most difficult, but only because there were more pieces. Um, when I was first opening it, it, was, it looked really complicated because there were so many pieces, but it's a lot easier than it looks. Although there are like these little things, like these tabs at the end, and a lot of them, one of them was completely broken off. Another one, another two of them were like a little bit broken, so I had to tape them to make sure they don't fall off completely. So I almost wrote this off completely, but then once I was done assembling it, that little tab, broken tab didn't make much of a difference, like it still assembled fine. Um, but the fact that it was broken is kind of irritating, but look how nice it is. Like, I like how these pockets are deep enough to hold the sticker, but like not deep enough to cover too much of it. So the, this is really pretty. I don't know. I, I like really like this. And then a mini postcard display. I think I can fit about two postcards on each thing. So six in total. They're so pretty and they all match really, really well. So it's the next day and I have finally decided on what product is going to go where. Evie, let me record. Um, the pegboard obviously is going to be holding pins and keychains and these are the ones that I've decided on. And I'm going to explain, <laughs> I'm going to explain why I decided on these products, but obviously stickers are going here and then postcards. And what's your butt, dang girl. After talking to Rochelle, she's the owner and the manager. Um, she said the most successful businesses are the ones who rotate out their inventory almost on a monthly basis. And I'm a bit too far away to go there monthly, I think, but I think I could definitely afford bi-monthly or like every two months. So what I'm planning to do is have a theme for my inventory because I have a ton of inventory. Like I have a hundred stickers, so I could easily rotate, you know, 16 different 
or different sets of 16 over the next few months. So what I'm thinking is every two months, I'm going to rotate out inventory based on a theme. And for my first two months there, I'm going around this theme of like floral. I mean, it's spring, so I feel like floral suits it well. So you'll notice like everything here has flowers and a lot of the, a lot of the designs that you see here as a postcard are also gonna be available as a sticker. Um, I'm just trying to have like, like a collection, like a theme going on. And then this way I can keep track of what items I've put there. And then for the next two months, I have another theme. I'm gonna focus on a lot of fandoms. May is considered like Star Wars month because of Star Wars day, May the 4th be with you. So I'm gonna put a ton of my Star Wars stuff there. I'm also gonna put like superhero stuff and just basically all my leftover fandom stuff for those two months. And then the last two months of my first six month contract, I'm gonna do, I'm calling it foodies and baddies. Like, <laughs> so it'll be like a foodie theme, plus just a bunch of like, hot sexy baddie girl stickers I've got and yeah so postcards I don't have any like fandoms for postcards I do have a sticker sheet I'm gonna put there to get rid of but other than that I might just either keep them or switch them out with random ones but that's my strategy for consignment um I've got six months to test it out so we'll see she says you get out of it what you put into it so I think if I go into it with a good strategy I don't think it's wrong to assume I might get something good out of it we'll see so here's all of those displays and products broken down and put away into a box. It's nice, it all fits like this. So I'm going to enter in the inventory online as SKUs in the, the, the portal. And then hopefully sometime next week, I'll be able to drop this off then. Whee! Okay, so it's been maybe a week-ish since I last checked in here. I have been prepping for Carrier Con, which if you want to see how that went, you can go ahead and watch the vlog over here. Overall, it's a really it's a really great event, so I really think you should go check out that vlog. But I've been busy prepping for that event, cleaning up from Kauai Fest, but now that those are both behind me, I have Let me check the calendar real quick. One, two. I still I have like two, three, one, two, three. I'm counting. I have three weeks until my next event, which is nice. So I've actually like cleaned up my office. I usually leave a lot of my boxes out in between events because I'm going to use them again, but I'm not going to touch them for another three weeks. I'm going to be gone for one of those weekends. I'll tell you where I'm going in a little bit. So I've been busy with event prep, but now that that's behind me this week, I want to focus on obviously consignment. That's what this whole video is about. Um, I need to finally get around to doing those cues that I mentioned I was gonna do a long time ago. This weekend, I'm gonna be going to Vegas to see twice, yay! Last year, I watched Blackpink with my sister and that was more for me because I'm a blink, but my sister and her daughter are bigger Twice fans. So we're going to Vegas to surprise Danny, who is my niece, to surprise her with this concert for her birthday. And it's gonna be so fun, girls weekend. So that's what I'm doing this weekend. And I wanna make sure that all of these things are done before then. I DM'd Rochelle about going to the store this Thursday. So hopefully that works out. I want that set up and done again before this weekend. Um, but before I need to do that, I have to work on the SKUs. So I've been putting this off for like two weeks now. <laughs> Let's get to work. So here is the inventory that I need to list. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna name each individual SKU. That way I know exactly what's selling real time. Just entering all of the SKUs. And so I'm gonna put all of these back away in that big box with the displays and then Hopefully Thursday, we'll be on our way to Stockton. So I'm also gonna display my business cards there and this plus like a few more that I have in my event storage stuff is about all that I have left of my business cards, which is no good. So I'm gonna need to order more soon. And every time I reorder business cards, I like to come up with a new design. So I wonder what design will be this time. Good morning. It's March 18th, Monday. I am gonna get ready, then I'm gonna head out to Stockton to set up at Maker's Maid, finally. I feel like it's been so long since I like, signed the contract and agreed to do this until this next point, this next part. And it's just because I've had two conventions that I really needed to prep for, new inventory. Well, just watch a week in my life. You'll see why <laughs> I never got around to doing consignment stuff. And then on top of all of that, I just came back from a, a Twice concert in Vegas. That was really fun. I went with my sister and my niece. Um, so now I have about two weeks until my next event. It's plenty of time for me to finally get around to this consignment stuff. But first we need to-
I finished setting up, but the cashier who was working there was new, so he didn't really know how to print the labels. And by the time he figured it out, he had used up all of the ink and <laughs> it ran out of ink. So half of my inventory is not labeled or priced, which is a bummer because I feel like I could be missing out on sales. But all the stickers are priced at least. And I, as we left, I already saw customers looking at that. So I messaged Rochelle and basically just to let me know when the ink is restocked and the labels are ready for me and I'll come back and I'll finish labeling the rest. But I don't know. Roll with the punches. So it's officially been, what day is it? Two days? It's Wednesday. It's been two days since I visited Maker's Maid for the second time and set up all of my product and labeled it and had some product that was left unlabeled, um, ran out of ink and stuff like that. So basically I was able to text Rochelle. I gave her instructions about what items match what barcode and she was able to, she and her team were able to label the rest of it. So that saved me an hour long drive. Thank you. <laughs> We've done everything we need to for this first part of consignment. Yay. So now everything is labeled and ready to be sold. And I just sit at home and I check my portal once a week to see how things are selling. The cool thing is as soon as I finished setting up and then I was heading out, I saw people sifting through my stickers already. So I can check at the end of this week and see if anyone ended up buying anything. So grateful to be a part of Makers Made. Thank you for having me, Rochelle. And like, I'm looking forward to this journey and seeing how it goes. I'm also hoping to expand more consignment and wholesale opportunities. So if you know of any, or if you are a business and you're interested, absolutely feel free to comment below, reach out to me. I've got all my links in my description below. Now, as we established in the beginning, this isn't my only stream of income. I've got other things going on, which leads me to my next special announcement. I got accepted into MomoCon. Ah, so exciting. If you're not aware, MomoCon is a pretty large scale convention in the East Coast, specifically Atlanta, Georgia, Hotlanta food. So to be honest, I didn't make the, the initial wave of acceptances. I was on the wait list, but I got off. So that counts for something. MomoCon is going to be the largest convention I've ever been a part of. I am not counting night markets. Night markets easily go up to like 70,000 people. Like there's a lot of people, but that's a night market. It's outdoor. It, it's a completely different scene. When it comes to conventions, believe it or not, I actually don't have a ton of experience. In my two-ish years of in-person selling, I've sold at a, like 40 plus events. Only seven of them were conventions and only maybe like three of them were multi-day conventions. Like I... I'm a convention noob, guys. I don't know a lot. <laughs> the largest one of those being Sac Anime, which in the summer show, I think they can reach up to 30,000. But Momocon is going to be about 50,000 people attending. It's a really dope looking convention. And I've never been to Georgia, but I love Southern food. I have also never sold out of state. Um, the farthest I've traveled was for Anime Expo Chibi in LA, which is only about six hours from where I'm based. And I've definitely never traveled as far as, as I will be for this for a convention. So I'm just like, I'm so excited. This is, this feels like a big step for me. I am baby when it comes to conventions. So this is my first big girl convention. <laughs> if you will be attending MomoCon, please sound off in the comments below. I would love to meet you in person. And if you know anything about MomoCon, I'm surprised at like how little information there is on YouTube out there. There's like cosplayer vlogs, but there's not a ton of Artist Alley vlogs. So if you have some experience selling at MomoCon, please share please. Oh, this is also going to be my first four day convention. I've only done by this point three day events. So four days. Let's see if we can last. <laughs> but MomoCon isn't until May, Memorial Day weekend. We've still got two plus months until then. And my next event is actually going to be a cherry blossom event in Elk Grove on March 30th. So if you're in the area, I'd love to see you or make sure to stick around and keep an eye out for that vlog when it comes out. I'm going to have a whole vlog series on just cherry blossom festivals because I've got a total of three booked this year. And I think it'll be a lot of fun to share those. I hope to see you in the vlogs or hopefully even in person. If you want to shop my art, you can find me on Etsy. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. All my links are in my description below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. It's Thursday, March 14th, 12 p.m. And I just got an email that I got off the wait list for MomoCon. Yay! Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> This is gonna be my first out of state convention. I've never sold out of state. I heard that this convention is pretty great. It's basically like the East Coast version of Fanime. So, ah! Ah! also Atlanta. Oh, I'm gonna eat so much good food. It's like my first thought. <laughs>
so excited.